In this video, we're going to explore the additive inverse. Example one. Alexis was shopping on the ground floor of the mall when she realized she had left her phone in her car. She walks down six floors to her car in the underground parking garage. How far will Alexis walk to get back to the ground floor? Use integers to explain. We're going to use a vertical number line to represent this situation. Zero is where the ground floor is located. Let's count six floors down to find where Alexis's car is. At negative six, we can say that is Alexis's car. Let's use an equation to represent this situation. Negative six, the location of Alexis's car, combined or plus an unknown number equals zero. That will bring us back to the ground level. Let's count how many floors Alexis has to walk back up to get to ground level. Six. We can say that negative six and six are additive inverses. Alexis will have to walk up six floors to get back to ground level. Practice one. A football team lost 14 yards during a play. The team had a combined gain or loss of zero yards after the next play. What integer represents the yards gained or loss on the next play? We're going to use a horizontal number line to represent this situation. At zero, we can say that is the beginning of the play. To represent a loss of 14 yards, we're going to move 14 spaces to the left. That leaves us at negative 14 at the end of the first play. We're going to represent this using an equation. Negative 14 combined or plus an unknown number is going to bring us back to the beginning of the play. That way we have a com combination of zero yards at the end. So in order to get back to zero, we're going to move to the right. Let's count how many spaces. We can see that that will be a gain of 14 yards. We can say that negative 14 and 14 are additive inverses. The integer that represents the yards gained or lost is 14. Again, we can say that's a gain because 14 is positive. Practice two. Xavier climbs nine feet up into an apple tree. What integer represents the direction and how far he will climb to get back down to the ground? What does the integer zero represent in this situation? We're going to use a vertical number line to represent this situation. At zero, we can say that is ground level. Now let's increase nine spaces to represent that climb of nine feet. We land at nine, and we can say that represents Xavier in the tree. Let's use an equation to represent this situation. Nine, which is Xavier's position in the tree, combined with an unknown value, is going to bring us back down to ground level. Let's count how many spaces we need to move down to get to ground level. That is nine spaces. And since that's down, we're going to use a negative nine to represent that move. We can say that nine and negative nine are additive inverses. The integer that represents the direction and how far Xavier will climb to get back down to the ground is negative nine. Zero represents ground level. Let's summarize our learning by creating a definition for additive inverse. Additive inverses are two numbers whose sum equals zero.